What is going on everybody? Welcome to your 8th iPhone development tutorial. And you know how I said like in the last tutorial that we're done coding for now? Well, I actually lied. I forgot one little semicolon in my interface right after password. So go ahead and add that because if you don't you're going to get an error. So once you're done adding your semicolon, I know it was a lot of code, you can take a break now. Go ahead up to your build and go ahead and select build and this is pretty much going to build your files, check for errors and also save them for you. So now once you build them hopefully you don't got any errors and uh, yeah looks like we're good to go. So now the next step in this process is to open the interface builder and add all those objects on the screen since we now built the outlets. So go ahead and expand your resource resources folder and go click whatever your project name is viewcontroller.xib and this of course is going to open your nib file and now let me just go ahead and rearrange everything real quick move this up a little bit just a little bit and yeah looks like we're good to go so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add that image on the screen and in order to do this make sure you have your library open and go down and click this little button right here this is the image view allows you to add images pretty easy so go ahead and drag this on your screen and as you can see it automatically expands what we want to do is just go ahead and shrink that to the approximate size of our image the actual size doesn't really matter so you know that's approximately where it's gonna go and I'll show you guys why I don't have to do it exact in a little bit but now with this still selected what we want to do is in the image attributes aka the inspector go over to this drop down for image and this is what image do you want to use well it's going to give you all of your resources images that you have since we only have one pretty self-explanatory buckypick.ping that's my main banner so now you can see that we loaded that picture but it doesn't exactly fit in it may be cutting off or the box may be too big in order to get this image view to exactly fit the exact same size as your picture what you need to do with this image view still selected is go up to layout and size to fit that way your image view automatically scales to the size of your picture check this out pretty sweet huh so the only other thing we want to select in here is one more drawing option um, I mean all of these are pretty self-explanatory I don't want to take the time to go through them all because we got stuff to do but make sure under drawing you click opaque now what this means is is pretty much not transparent at all um, it's just pretty much whenever you click opaque it means it's not transparent and it helps speed up the drawing whenever you're running your application so aside from this awesome picture right here remember we have two labels on the left and two empty text boxes on the right so what we can do is we can go ahead and add our text fields and you do that by clicking text field dragging it over and go ahead and add one right there and remember we added one for name one for password and now let's go ahead and add those labels add the label double click it put name and also add another label called password for our super secret login box now what you usually want to do is you know expand that that looks pretty good and go ahead and expand that so that fits as well so aside from adding these labels we or excuse me these text boxes we actually want to mess with the attributes a little bit so go ahead and select your top text field and now scroll over to your text field attributes your inspector so the first thing we want to do is remember by default we had some text that popped up in the text field and this is pretty much the default text and over in your text field attributes this was the text in the placeholder so go ahead and add a little prompt in placeholder be like type username so aside from giving them one prompt what we want to do is whenever they click in here the keyboard is going to pop up automatically and by default the keyboard is going to have a button that says return on it well we want to change that to done so under your text input traits keyboard go ahead and check oh wait a minute text input traits return key that's what I'm clicking go ahead and click done make sure don't click emergency call or really really bad things are gonna happen when you try to run this so go ahead and click done 
under your return key and that changes the return key on your keyboard to a done button so that's all we need to do for this field so aside from that what we need to do is select this password text field and remember this one was a little bit different for the placeholder go ahead and type in enter password because that's what you want them to do and aside from this under the keyboard type by default it has a bunch of numbers and uh, letters on it but I mean this is our secret bank code we only want to be able to enter numbers so go ahead and give them a number pad only this will give them a keyboard with no letters on it only numbers and also we don't need a return key because this number pad doesn't even have a return key but what we do need to check is secure this secure is whenever you type in a number it's going to give you that little circle instead of showing the number because you know we don't want our friends to see our super secret password so you know that's all we have to do um, as far as putting the objects on the screen now from here what we need to do is add the outlets to each corresponding object so again if you forgot how to do this in your files owner go ahead and control and drag and once you're highlighted over the corresponding object release and the outlet for this one is name and then whenever we use name in our coding it references is it references is references is references is this object now go ahead and control and drag to password and let go and use choose that outlet password and now whenever we use the password variable in our code it references is this object references references river references is so anyways go ahead and file save your nib file and now in our Xcode we can go ahead and build this run it and see what we get so go ahead and if you go ahead and click username type in your username mine is Bucky and now go ahead and password and see here's the default um, what was it called placeholder enter password and don't look at my password one two three four five I'll never guess that so now we are done that's what you need to do but check this out alright I'm done enter my username my password so how do I actually get out of this so maybe, maybe click done no the keyboard isn't popping down so what the heck how the heck do I get out of here well actually in order to make the keyboard pop back down what we need to do is we edit need to edit a little bit more of code so that's what I'm gonna be showing you in the next tutorial I mean we already basically built 90 percent of our tutorial just need to be editing a little bit more of code to make things a little bit smoother so uh, that's that for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're gonna be making it awesome I mean we made it good but we need to make it great so uh, that's what you have to look forward to and uh, yeah if you have any questions guys feel free to click on the link below in my forum and ask me any question you want and I'll feel free to answer for you guys so also get the code there so anyways enough of me rambling check out my next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe